Ladies and gentlemen, the Ava Chris Tyson situation may have just gotten 10 times worse as leaked Discord messages from the partner of Chris Tyson, a creator by the name of Eret or Eret have leaked onto Twitter, and they dive into some pretty interesting things, such as Amazon themselves and Mr. Beast possibly having involvement in the uh, public apology that Chris Tyson has put out, basically encouraging them to uh, not say anything while they do their inside investigation. And to me, it seems like an attempt to uh, sweep it under the rug, you know, hope everybody forgets it all, allegedly. Let's just dive into it. This is a stream highlight. This is from a live stream. So if you want to be a part of the next one, if you want to be a part of my research and findings, make sure you check me out when I'm live. Chris Tyson's partner leaked response to drama has surfaced online, allegedly. These messages were allegedly sent to the mods in a Discord and then leaked online via an anonymous account. I don't know if y'all remember who Muskina was. She's the one who was accusing um, Ava Tyson of... Y'all remember that? This girl, it's a trans girl named Muskina, was accusing um, Chris Tyson of her taking advantage. That was SA. That was two consenting adults. That's the way I kind of saw it. Basically, Muskina and Chris Tyson had got into a relationship. Uh, they got along really well. And um, Chris Tyson ended up, you know, asking Muskina here if she wanted to be her assistant and then um they ended up working together and a lot more happened a lot of relationship stuff and but so just for context this is the same person right and they have more allegations now these are some of the claims right chris tyson's partner leaked response to drama has surfed online has surfaced these messages were allegedly sent to the mods in a discord and then leaked online via an anonymous account some of these claims include mr beast is afraid of inflaming a situation that could anger their corporate investors allegedly ava chris tyson is disgusted by the person she used to be ava chris tyson did not know that lava gs was a minor ava wishes that she had never engaged with shadman allegedly ava denied advances made by the alleged sa victim allegedly there is an HR investigation into the SA allegations, but Mr. Beast doesn't want anyone to say anything publicly in case it causes more things to flare up online. Mr. Beast's team is preventing Ava from allegedly talking. Any response from, from Ava would flare stuff up again. Ava's first apology tweet was allegedly entirely written by the Mr. Beast exec under insane pressure of Amazon. So if this is true, Amazon is involved now. Amazon is going out of their way telling Chris Tyson what to post and tweet. This person is Eret on Twitter, right? For context. This person is E-R-E-T on Twitter. Hey, Eret, this person. Thanks for finally addressing how Ava sexually assaulted me. Since you lied multiple times throughout this private Discord message, you sent your staff, let's go through and point them all out, right? And now here are all the claims from this Ava Neg person. Now, for context, this is not how Discord looks, right? Obviously, this looks like something from a notes app. Um, so Moskina has proof of it being in Discord, right? So this is proof that it was a Discord message from Eret. Eret, saying, I wanted to talk to you about this, and it's in regards to her staff. I wanted to talk to you all about my relationship with Ava and everything that has been happening behind the scenes at Mr. Beast. Beast has asked me not to talk about a lot of this publicly, as they are terrified of inflaming a situation that could anger their corporate investors. I can talk about that later. That being said, you guys deserve full transparency from me and deserve to know what is really happening with everything regarding Ava. I know that this is a wall of text, but it has been consuming my life for the past few weeks, and there's a lot that is hard to talk about publicly that I want to share with you. Ava and I are both disgusted by the person she used to be. I will go into detail on points, but I need you to know that I would not be dating someone who would behave in the way that 2016 through 18 Ava did. I would not have introduced her to you guys or my community if I didn't know that she would help us do amazing things. 
If you are somehow out of the loop on the situation, Ava, my partner and Mr. Beast cast member, was recently on the receiving end of a couple of coordinated attack videos that... And that's where it stops. Wasn't Aaron a Minecraft YouTuber? They are. They are a Minecraft YouTuber, yeah. So this account is brand new. This account was made literally just to expose um, Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson and all that. So if you guys want, you can follow this account and look into this stuff. Is Muskino also trans? They are both trans. So this account, Mr. Beast Expose or Expo, is pretty much made last month just to post these allegations, right? Um, they can go all the way back to August 12th, where this all started. Now I did show you all the the um Muskina tweet to show you the proof that it was an actual Discord message. Uh, for some reason, this person copy and pasted the text onto notes. I would have just screenshotted the Discord, but that, I don't know. Eric reveals Mr. Beast and Amazon advised him and Ava to stay silent on allegations. Despite this, Eric stands by Ava's past actions. Says, I wanted to talk to you all about my relationship with Ava and everything that's been happening behind the scenes at Mr. Beast. Beast has asked me not to talk about a lot of this publicly as they are terrified of inflaming a situation that could anger their corporate investors. Um, so I read this one already. This was from Discord. Ava and I are both disgusted by the person she used to be. I will go to detail on points, but I need you to know that I would not be dating someone who would behave in the way 2016 through 18 Ava did. I would not have introduced her to you guys or my community if I didn't know that she would help us do amazing things. If you are somehow out of the loop on the situation, Ava, my partner and Mr. Beast cast member, was recently on the receiving end of a couple of coordinated attack videos that suggested that Ava had room a minor i don't know why they put the um quotations like that the videos detail the story of lava gs one of ava's old discord mods who would go on to get a job at beast lava gs was 14 at the time which ava only learned much later on lava made a statement expressing that ava did nothing wrong see tweet despite a lot of these early claims having little weight they highlighted a large number of incredible Incredibly regrettable tweets and posts made by Ava between 2016 and 18, which she had previously addressed when she was cis het. And it was brushed off like in BD. They combined these tweets with the accusations to paint Ava as a monster. So for anyone wondering, this is Ava Chris Tyson's partner talking. This was what they sent to a Discord that they're in. What does cis het mean? I think that means cis hetero, like before they transitioned. It was basically when Chris Tyson was the other Chris Tyson, right? Uh, specific topics. Firstly, I want to say I do not stand by any of Ava's past actions or behavior, but I want you guys to have the full context that explains the gross looking screenshot. Who is Lava GS and what happened in the Discord? The Discord server where Lava would eventually become a mod started as a Discord for Ava to play CSGO with five of her adult friends. Those friends invited their friends and the server grew as online communities do. This was entirely separate from Beast, somewhere Ava could shitpost with her friends. However, it was also 2016. Filthy Frank eating vomit cake and SJW own compilations were the pinnacle of humor. Here's part two. Ava offering to help set up bots on the Discord and Ava accepted. Ava made several dumb edgier gross jokes, some of which were sexual in nature. At the time, Ava did not know that Lava was a minor. This doesn't make this okay, but I hope that it can help show that her behavior at the time was never intentionally harmful. Lava addresses this on his Twitter that I previously linked. Shortly after Ava learned that Lava was a minor, she decided to fully delete the Discord because she realized it was not a positive influence and wanted to leave that part of her life behind. This is not true, though, because there are a lot more miners in the server than just Lava GS. This is a lie. There was a lot of miners. It wasn't just Lava GS. Lava helped with moderating Ava's personal community Discord and running her Minecraft server. One day, Ava heard Mr. Beast Gaming was looking for people to help with their Minecraft servers. Given Lava's track record, she gets him an interview at Beast. He passed the interview and goes to work in the Mr. Beast Gaming studio in Greenville, North Carolina, where he worked for nine months. In that time, Ava only ever met him in person. 
when she was on set at the studio or if Lava was helping on a shoot. There was never any inappropriate interaction between them short of the few gross jokes made in a public discord. Okay, so the Shadman art. In 2016, Ava bought a print from an NSFW and edgy Twitter artist called Shadman. I haven't seen the pic myself, but I'm not going to seek it out. We can all agree that any inappropriate depictions of minors is sickening. I know Ava wishes that she had never engaged with Shadman, but so many of the YouTubers she looked up to the time, like PewDiePie, Oni Plays, Zach Cadell, who would go on to create Smiling Friends, were friends with him or at least engaged with Shad's content. PewDiePie? Why are they just... Why'd, she, why'd he just sneak in PewDiePie into that list? That's weird. And also, what is this about... NSFW edgy. I think edgy is a whole lot different from drawing minors. They're saying I haven't seen the pic myself, which I mean, you don't really have to seek the picture out. You can literally just watch any video discussing the situation and it will show you the pic or at least some of it. It almost seemed like certain people could get away with saying and doing gross or terrible things under the premise that it's an edgy joke. You're too normy to get it. Ava fell for this at the time and made a decision to buy the print that I know sickens herself today. No, it doesn't. Shadman would go on to develop serious drug addictions and started to increasingly draw NSFW art depicting minors. Everyone who previously supported Shad distanced themselves from him. Given this, any association with him looks terrible. I hope he's in prison. Art 3. I've seen... I have seen some people claiming that Ava commissioned the art from Shadman, but this is not true. Ava bought, bought a print from a link on his Twitter page. Should she have done that? No. Does she regret it? Yes. Does that make it right? No. But I do know that the Ava of 2016 is not the Ava of 2024. She would never make the same mistake, especially now that she is a parent as of 2020. What more can she do to allow her to move on from her past mistakes? Jess? Okay, so Jess is Muskina, right? A person we've been looking at. Her ex-assistant has made a series of claims against Ava. She claimed that Ava pressured her into sexual activities on multiple occasions, among other disgusting accusations. It is very hard to talk about this publicly, as you would ideally want to believe the victim in a sexual assault case. However, having known Jess IRL and been familiar with who she is for months before this, I know the facts. Jess and Ava met over their mutual involvement in trans Twitter and becoming online friends. Being trans can be very isolating and expensive. Ava was isolated and had the capacity to help Jess with her finances. Ava wanted to help Jess achieve her gender and life goals. The best way to do this would be to get Jess a job where she can get paid through Mr. Beast, as they'll also cover her insurance. Though this job, Jess is paid very well by Beast, and she's able to help Ava with scheduling, taking care of Tucker, Tucker <laughs> Ava's four-year-old kid, ETC, during this time, Jess is living in Ava's house so that she wouldn't have to pay for rent elsewhere. And Ava is paying for everything. Jess professed her love to Ava a few times and Ava had responded that she sees her like a sister and wants nothing romantic. Earlier this year, Ava started to spend more time with me. We started dating after we met in person for the first time to see the solar eclipse in Austin. Before this trip, Jess and Ava had been on a trip to Jess's hometown of Boston, where Jess again said she was in love with Ava, but Ava again responded that she sees her as a sister. When Ava came out to meet me in Austin, Jess started to tweet terrible things about being let out, and in one tweet, threatens to end her life. Ava and Jess talk it out, and Jess deletes the tweets. I had also invited Jess to Austin, but she had refused. You can maybe understand a bit more of how Jess to Austin, but she had refused. You can maybe understand a bit more of how Jess viewed Ava, but from this brief conversation we had around the time, where I wanted to reach out to Jess to show that I am not a threat to her, and she describes Ava as the most important person in my life. This post shows a text message. Okay, so this is what Eric said to Jess. Hey Jess, I've been hearing that you worry that Ava has been ignoring you to spend time with me and I want to open this line of communication so we can all be on the same side here. Ava cares for you a lot, you are one of the people she trusts most in the world, and I know she will always be there for you when you need it. I'm not very familiar with the dynamic between you two and day-to-day -day stuff, but I know that we are both on the same side. We both care a lot about Ava and want to see her thrive and succeed. I don't want to be seen as trying to cut you out of things because I'm not. 
You are invited to both Austin and LA. I look forward to meeting you at some point down the line while Ava is my main focus. I want to know and be conscious of everything she considers close, and you are one of the people who keep coming up as someone she cares about. I'm here to try to make sure no one feels crappy, and if there's anything I can do to make things better, please let me know. Pretty, pretty polite, I would say. Pretty polite. Respectful. And this is what Jess says. Thank you so much for reaching out. You're an incredibly considerate and compassionate person. Ava has been an amazing friend to me, the likes of which I've never had. We've grown through so much together, and in the process, she became the most important person in my life. Nothing brings me more joy than to see her happy and see her spend time with people who care about her. Our dynamic has grown and changed in many ways, and it's something that I'm still personally learning to deal with. I hope you don't feel bad or responsible in any way for what Ava and I are going through. I personally have been going through a hard time lately and took a lot of it out on Ava. I feel horrible for some of the things I've said in the way that I acted but Ava and I have been through a lot and I really hope that we're going to be okay I look forward to meeting you in the future too and I appreciate you extending all of the invitations Ava deserves someone like you I mean this seems very mutual like a nice nice mutual conversation no Okay, next chat. When I first came to stay with Ava in North Carolina in May, Jess still lived there. I made an effort to talk with her and trying my best to not make her feel like a third wheel too badly. However, she mainly isolated herself to her room. One night, Ava and I are chatting on the back porch and Jess announces, By the way, I'm heading to Boston tomorrow. This had come out of nowhere. Ava had even ordered furniture to the house under the assumption that Jess would be there. As Ava was out of town with me in LA for Pride, this is how fast Jess moved out. Even though Jess had moved to Boston, she somehow still expected to be able to do her executive assistant job from there. So yeah, this this ended up coming out where um, Muskina Jess wanted to move away and have like a work from home assistant job. And so... Chris Tyson ended up firing her because she didn't need a work from home assistant. She needed an assistant in person, which to me makes a lot of sense. If you need an assistant in person, obviously you're going to have to fire the one who is moving, right? Uh, she somehow still expected to be able to do her job from there. She had essentially quit. She was getting paid very well by Beast, didn't pay for rent, food, her laser hair removal appointments. Ava paid for everything. All of that stopped when she left for Boston without notice. I don't know if she has a job at all. Okay, so there has already been an ongoing third-party HR investigation at Beast for a couple weeks regarding Jess. However, as Mr. Beast has been under so much pressure recently, they don't want anyone to say anything publicly in case it causes more things to flare up online. You can imagine they just went want all of this to simmer down and go away. Any response from Ava would flare stuff up again. There's already been an ongoing third-party HR investigation at Beast for a couple weeks regarding Jess. As a result, nothing can be said. They won't let Eva say I didn't do it, so the internet just assumes she did it. Public response. I also wanted to address my public responses to the situation. I was the one who had to post Ava's terrible first apology tweet as I had changed the password to Ava's Twitter to help her quit it. It had been entirely written by the Mr. Beast execs under the insane pressure from Amazon and other corporate investors. There's something spicy. What do you think about that one? It had been entirely written by the Mr. Beast execs under the insane pressure from Amazon and other corporate investors. The previous week, the first recording attempt for the Mr. Beast Amazon show with 2,000 contestants was a failure, which would have been millions thrown away. These accusations hitting directly after that whole project got destroyed made the investors terrified and they basically forced Jimmy to kick Ava out as they considered her guilty until proven innocent. I had protested at how terrible the tweet was and asked if it would be possible to change some words like if I offended and the word permanently, but in a room... With Jimmy Beast, the Mr. Beast CEO, Mr. Beast COO, and Ava, I was told, no, we cannot change it. We have run it by the investors. We need to say that. And with no other option, I posted the tweet. Jimmy and the CEO had tears in their eyes. They left soon after. Here's the first tweet. Back on July 23rd. 
Yeah, so this statement says, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments, if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, Lava GS, has vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I've hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, packs actions into those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump those two factors together to create a narrative that is my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting it did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I do not want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work. And Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Now, from what I've heard, I'll heard online is that uh, Chris Tyson still works for the company. So that's just what I heard. Okay, I was understandably very frustrated by the whole situation. They had done nothing to say that Ao wasn't a predator and just threw her under the bus. I made my own big tweet expressing this frustration within 10 minutes of posting jimmy's calls me and says you're right we really didn't do anything to support ava i'm coming over so we can work on something better um uh the pure scale of everything at miss at beast makes uncertainty very hard to stomach well a lot of the accusations have been proven to not be as serious as some have made them out to be see lava gs ava's edgy humor in 2016 around when most of these accusations originate makes it very easy to paint her in a negative light. Ava is an entirely different person from who she was then. The amount of hardship she has had to overcome to exist on the platform she has is unlike anyone else I know. Serious accusations should be addressed, but this leads to a lot of uncertainty in finding the truth. As before, uncertainty is hard to stomach. The actions of Ava eight years ago do not reflect on who she is today. She's an amazing mother and wants to use her platform to help as many people as she can. Please give Ava time and understanding she is not the monster she is being made out to be. Jimmy calls me and says, you're right, we really didn't do anything to support Ava. I'm coming over so we can work on something better. He comes over with the COO and we develop the follow-up tweets together with Ava. During this drafting process, Jimmy tells me, we're so lucky we have you to help with this. We've never had to go through anything like this before. I respond, yeah, I really wish you had let me help you with the first tweet. Jimmy then replied, yeah, we did kind of mess up the first one. Ava would have had no support if it wasn't for me physically being there. At least Beast had the generosity to pay for my flight out there before they dropped Ava. After those tweets were put out, Mr. Beast high ups have been telling us not to say anything publicly as they are terrified of more stories spinning out of control. At the moment, lots of people are seeing weakness at Mr. Beast. They are trying to take advantage of the situation. I know they are panicking hard at the moment. Kicking Ava out was a knee-jerk reaction to the incredible pressure from their corporate investors. Proper third-party investigations are being done into everything that has been brought up against Ava. These should hopefully conclude within the next few weeks. I hope that when those investigations do conclude, the findings will be shared on official Mr. Beast social media. I hope that they will clear Ava's name in that. While the things Ava said and did in 2016 through 18 were inappropriate and shouldn't have been done, they never extended beyond the poor attempts at jokes that they are. I am also honestly not sure how Jess expects to get away with so many falsehoods in the long run. She provided little, little evidence and left out anything that made herself look bad. The corporate investors currently do not want Ava to have any social media presence for a number of years. I don't know when or if she's allowed to defend herself. Eric said this to his staff in his Discord server. And here's a clip from Eric's stream yesterday. Need to address. You want me to be amazing for mental health. Um. Yo, you want me to address? You want me to address something? How about you address these? No. <laughs> Based. Okay, so Moschina ended up talking about this, right? says, hey, Eret, thanks for finally addressing how Ava SA'd me. Since you lied multiple times throughout this private Discord message you sent your staff, let's go through and point them all out. Muskina says, you knew me IRL? We were in a Discord call once together with Ava to play Helldivers. I met you in person once. The first time you visited Ava in North Carolina, 
As you mentioned, we didn't really talk or hang out at all. And it's this screenshot. I already had a job, but Ava just got me making, got me one making a little bit more money. I made more money at Mr. Beast, but I also a salary and always on call. Live, li live in assistant. Remember that, live in assistant. And traveled with Ava for shoots. It was a lot of work and I was compensated fairly. Muskina says, I pay for my own health insurance, which is $660 a month. And before that, received mass health through the state of MA. So I have no idea why you made this up or where you got your false info. Muskina says, I lived with Ava because she wanted me to. I literally had other rent-free options from within the company, which Ava and I discussed, but that never happened because Ava wanted me around. Ava is paying for everything. I paid my own bills and paid for the majority of my food. I lived with her. What else do you think she bought me? Because I literally got nothing that wasn't work-related. I actually bought her more gifts than she ever did for me. Ask her what happened at Christmas when I got her gifts, but she didn't get me anything. Ava said she had similar feelings of love and being in a relationship with me after our Boston and Easter trip and assured me neither of you were looking for anything serious due to distance and other factors. If anyone's wondering, I'm skipping these because these were from the last messages we just looked at. Muskina says, I was depression posting but never threatened to end my life. I refused to go to Austin because I had a surgery coming up and had to go back to Boston, LMAO. I felt left out because Ava was supposed to visit me while I recovered, but she went to see you instead. Also, did you have a hard time putting this together? You pasted a bunch of copied sentences in the wrong place and it's actually hard to read and understand. Yes, she was the most important person in my life, as well as my boss. That's how she was so easily able to take advantage of me. Wow, you really effed up this lie. Ava and I had multiple in-person conversations about me moving back to Boston and keeping my job, none of which you were present for. Also, I literally put that furniture away before I moved out. I didn't tell Ava a date for when I was moving out until she had already left for LA. Clearly evident since you said as Ava was out of town with me in LA for pride. I didn't leave until a few days after y'all left as I had to pack everything and rent a moving truck. She agreed to let me keep my job and live in Boston multiple times, and I paid for the majority of my own laser. I didn't pay for food. Can you tell DoorDash in my bank account that? Because I guess they owe me thousands of dollars. Correct. You don't know if I have a job. You could have reached out and asked, and I would have told you I currently work in health insurance full-time as an advocate members or elderly and or disabled. My case got moved to the new third party investigators, probably because the company didn't like the results of the original investigations, which started in early June. No one assumed she did anything. In my case, there is an overwhelming amount of evidence and cooperation. Yes, Mr. Beast wants to avoid anyone saying anything publicly about what happened to me and the other victims, so investors don't pull out. They don't care at all that I was S8 at their company. They won't let Ava talk. No, Ava refuses to talk herself because one, she can't prove her innocence. Two, if she does talk, she'll probably lose her income and a lot more from Beast. There is a screenshot of Ava admitting what happened the night she essayed me. Also, are you defending a supervisor receiving oral sex from their subordinate? Subordinate, there's clear evidence Ava and I had a relationship. Also, let me address how I plan to get away with this. Everything I said was the truth. I have evidence and witnesses to back it up. I'm not receiving any compensation or looking for any. There is literally nothing the company can sue me for because all I want is for the truth to be out there. Also, Eric, can you tell me what, you're pointing, what your point is by saying I was paid very well? Is there a certain dollar amount you can pay someone when it makes it okay to SA them? Also, you know Mr. Beast paid me right, not Ava. Maybe next time reach out and talk to a victim of SA before posting lies in an attempt to discredit them. You have multiple ways to contact me directly and you never did. Clearly you are hearing an incredibly biased version of events from the person who SA'd me. Yeah, so here's a screenshot of Ava Neg um, saying to Moschina, uh, here's the messages. I assume you keep them in private. Yes, please. Glad you understand completely. Is there anything you can provide me that proves you got it from a staff member or within his Discord? Otherwise, people will think I made that post and your account. And here is the Discord um, screenshot of the group. Here's Nathan. Right? 
Nathan W is the one who leaked the Chris Tyson Discord. Uh, says Chris 100% knew Lava's age. That's such a wild claim, especially saying the server was deleted as soon as Chris found out. Considering Lava joined the Discord around 2017, he was 14 to 15. The server got deleted in 2021. It took Chris four years to realize Lava was a minor after voice chatting him hours a day per week. Lava also says, yeah, Nathan is right here. Chris definitely knew my age around 2018. Also, the reason Discord deleted is entirely incorrect as well. It was deleted about 10 months after I started at Mr. Beast Gaming. I worked for them for 12 months, not nine. Yeah, so Nathan and Lava basically um, saying that um, that person's wrong. Now, after all of these messages came out and Muskino would end up covering it and giving her side of the story, Eric, the guy, the partner of Chris Tyson, would go on to Twitch and say, hey, I won't be going live today due to Twitter. I've also only slept for an hour last night. Muskino would post that and say, hey, Eric, why are you trying to make yourself seem like a victim for lying about and trying to cover up that Ava essayed me? You should worry about it, and you should have listened to Jimmy when he told you to be quiet. He's a lot smarter than you. And we can see Eric saying, I think this might be a good time to take a break for a bit. It's much needed. Samus says what happened on Twitter. Eric says, don't worry about it. More dumb drama stuff. I'm just exhausted. And it's quite funny because this dumb drama stuff Eric is referring to, um, he pretty much started by going on to his Discord and telling people, all of this stuff hoping that it wouldn't end up leaked online which we all know this is probably the biggest situation involving the largest content creator in the world mr beast how would you not expect this to end up going viral mind you Eric has 1.4 million followers they are a minecraft content creator in their own right so to think that you're just going to go on to your very large Discord, type a very long message refuting a lot of very interesting points, and just assume the world is going to pretend it doesn't exist or that they don't care or see it, is quite insane. And that's about it for today's video. The situation just gets crazier and crazier, as we are now learning that there might be a Mr. Beast and Amazon involvement with the Chris Tyson situation while they're working behind the scenes to hope that everyone forgets. But uh, Cam Nuggets won't let that happen. And hopefully other commentary channels begin to look into this as well and cover it because this is one of those things that we cannot let be hidden. We can't let this be swept under the rug. This is a serious thing. Uh, you know, the Ava Chris Tyson situation and the Discord of Miners, I think, is a whole lot more serious, honestly, than Mr. Beast being a bit of a uh, bag. <laughs> But in regards to that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share. Most likely going to be ad-limited because we cover some pretty touchy topics in this. So, as always, I appreciate the support. Peace out.